Welcome everyone, a new adventure is about to begin because we are starting a new game which is World of Padman. This is Prayo Color Team with Peacemaker Bats on Side Bath or Warp Bath for 180 points without Friendly Fire activated. Let's take a trip to the Dreamlike and Unlimited World of Padman. Okay, so today we are beginning another very interesting game, which is World of Padman by a German programmer NT and his development team Padworld Entertainment. As I would say, this is an independent game and a Quake 3 mod at the same time, because it's based on IOQ3, which is a remastered version of Quake 3 Arena's e Tech 3, and it was developed so much and so well that it has become whole another game, but you are still able to see these familiar Q3 elements here. So you have 7 game types here, which is quite a lot. Spray or color, spray or color team, capture the lolly, big balloon, last pad standing, free for all, and free for all team. You can see it right there. We're gonna play spray or color team this time. Many intriguing maps. We're gonna play on Warp Bath. And here is an Instapad option, which is an analog for the classic Instagib. There you have to deal with everyone with a railgun only, or as this weapon is called here, KMA-97. So you gotta have really advanced aim skill for that, because you should be able to reach the enemy with a weapon which has a really small legend diameter, even from longer distances. Here you have 5 bad difficulties. Kindergarten, Flower Power, Mosquito Bite, Peacemaker, and brutal blue noses. So let's meet some bats on the peacemaker difficulty. And let's choose who concretely we will meet this time. So we have four members for both the blue and the red teams. And this time it's gonna be general, bad paddy, super pad, and ghost pirate for the blue team, and pacho, pad punk, pad babe and Pat King for the red team. This is a multiplayer only game, which means that there is not a single player mod, but as you can enjoy the gameplay with bots, this game is infinite, which is more than awesome. Welcome. So let's get to the match. Alright, so we can grab Pampa and Pat Shield already. Pat Shield completely fills your stack ammo, so this is a very useful item. This is something like red armor in Quake 3, and Pampa is something like a shotgun, but it can reach enemies from further distances too. We grab Bolster, later I will mention what can this weapon do. Now let's make a frag, and you see there is a cartridge. This is because in Spray or Color team, once we make a frag on someone from opponent's team, he or she leaves us a cartridge, which has the same color our team does. Let's see what can we do with that. But let's grab Betty first. You should jump into a sphere like that to capture this cartridge or several ones. To do that, you should spray on your board inside this room. Make sure to use all your cartridges that you have at the moment. Here in the corner we can grab some patch arts. A patch art is a minimal armor measure. And sometimes we can see some cartridges colored like the opponent's team. In our case the red ones. These are cartridges from them. However, we can steal it from them. And if you go and capture some of your cartridges, after that there will be no chance for the enemy team to capture these red ones. There is only one sphere on each map, whether it is spray or color or spray or color team. No pad babe, not this time, and I need this cutlet. Ooh, pad bum, did you really think I would let you go? <laughs> So now we have two cartridges at the same time, which is genuine, but normally I don't recommend collecting too many cartridges all at the same time, 
Cause if you lose them, you lose them all and give for an enemy your cartridge to spray. World of Padman is unique for these two game types, Spray Your Color and Spray Your Color Team, which I really appreciate. That's something that makes the game even more interesting. And here we have some more weapons. Bubble G is something like the plasma gun, but they choose with color balls. Betty is similar to the rocket launcher. And here is Splasher, something like a railgun but with different zooming technique. And once you start to zoom in, you cannot zoom out anymore, so be careful before you zoom. Here we have Balloony, which is something like a grenade launcher, but it shoots balloons. And they have different trajectory because they bounce off everything. And Poster is something like the lightning gun, but again it speeds different and leaves some water on the floor, which makes the floor slippery. Oh, that was a headshot from you, Pat Punk. And the red team was punished for that. When you hear it, never believe it. Can you see this pumping station? <laughs> Here you can please yourself with some energy, which is a quantity that keeps you in life instead of health. There should be someone here. By the way, when she says red team are the best, that means that the red team have just taken the lead. Yeah, yeah. Oh, free cartridge. Nice. You see, that also happens sometimes. You can just take it and spray it. If you are lucky, you can telefrag your enemy from this room. If you teleport to the same place as your enemy. Oh, Pat King picked up that speedy. And floater as well. Now he can fly. Progressive Pat. Maybe that's why they call him Pat King. Yep, he was very well equipped. Alright, you see, the concrete place of spawn means a lot. Now we've got the blue cartridge, like a reward for beating Pat King. And the red cartridge that we've taken back. This is the one that Bat King had received for us. This. That's exactly the thing that I wanted to hear. Alright, another Pat Shield. We are very lucky for that. I mean, of course you can count everything and deal with timing. If you know how often does the Pat Shield spawn. <laughs> You're doing that to me again, Pat Punk. Well, I don't have any problems with that. And here is the most powerful weapon in the game. Imperius. I'm gonna show you how to get it, don't worry. So if you jump down there and teleport away from the toilet bowl, you'll be brought to the sphere. Be careful there. And here is a secret switch that opens this secret teleporter. And you have the Imperius. That's it. You can teleport away from here. We are going 40 to 40 now. We are equal on that. So let's go up, I guess. Have to find some jump pad. Yeah, I like this one. Teleport away. I'll demonstrate you why and how can be Imperious an extremely useful weapon. Look. Did you see that? Very powerful weapon, something like BFG. And just like with the BFG, make sure to not hold the fire weapon for too long, otherwise you can kill yourself. We got killed, well you never know when this can happen. And I didn't even shoot to the zone where her thoughts enemy pads been. It's just that the legion diameter is so wide that it touched them and even fragged them anyway, and both at the same time. We even got the excellent medal for two kills in a row. Yeah, not something you can expect in a buff, huh? An aerial attack like this. Especially this is useful in spray or color game types. Because there are more cartridges to grab. 
and especially in Spray or Gather team, because there's less possibility of danger with the same amount of players, but... Because you have more teammates and less enemies than in classic Spray or Color, your only friend is you. Yeah, if there are a lot of cartridges, grab them as soon as possible and run to the sphere. Well, it cannot go well sometimes, but if you spawn close, like that, try to return and kill the one who killed you, and then grab all the cartridges and eliminate all the enemies on your way, you can drop some killer ducks so that your enemies will not reach you, especially if they are following you. Let's pump some energy there. Then move to the sphere, teleport into, and use our expensive cartridge by spraying our pacific pictogram. That's right. Oh, that hurt it. Well, as we are there, I think it's a good idea to grab Imperius once again. By the way, you are not forced to use it as soon as possible. But if you grab it and uh, not use it, then make sure that you'll not die. Because otherwise, your effort will be kind of useless. And uh, if you have already grabbed the Imperius and you are not using it yet, try to avoid the situations when you are using other weapons and then just at the moment that you are switching to Imperius, somebody is fragging you. Because the one who fragged you, in that case can grab your Imperius and after that it can be very very dangerous actually. So try to avoid the situations like that. By the way, graphics in this game are just hilarious. Everything is so detailed. Like, every letter on copy books front pages and on some CDs and boxes and every figure in that and every texture and the way this is put together, you know. There's just so much work in it. Yes, here it can be difficult to drop down there, but try to reach the center, like that. And it is better to start from the water surface when you are dropping down there, than just uh, randomly swimming. Because uh, if you are starting from the water surface, you can concentrate your power go through this tunnel, no, and I just been randomly swimming. And in this bath, by the way, there is a larger rubber duck, and almost for a bat, small for a human. And you can jump onto it, and it will get you out the bath, or I would even say spit you out the bath, and you will be able to grab the bubble key. Nope, I don't think so. I don't agree. I do not agree. Let me sign my petition. I win as well, Path King. Oh no, I just wanted to grab Speedy. But that's okay, at least we have some killer ducks and bubble G's with us. Time to leave. That's right. Who between you guys are fighting for the speedy? I just wanted to grab this useful item. I also want to be fast. You are being rude to me. Hello. Hello. I mean, I know I'm talking with bots, but whatever. Yeah, so as you could see, when you are jumping down or dropping down, it's better to land inside the water, because that's how you can avoid the damage from the fall. Uh, it seems for me like Pat Punk is soaring in the air a little bit. Yeah, so here we have Floater. This is another very useful item. 
We should get that sword in there. This funk spray is a beautiful pictogram. Yeah, so as you could see, the spraying room isn't a room for fighting at all. We only have the spray pistol here, which is the only weapon that only appears in these spraying rooms. And this weapon is just for you to make some art and bring some points to your team. This is like a painter's work. You draw some compositions and you get paid for that. There is, however, the thing that you are very limited on instruments. And by the way, you can choose the pictogram that you want in settings. But the wage... Ah, the wage is worth it. <laughs> Who said that? Whatever. No one's here. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, that was an achievement that I did not expect, honestly. But obviously, Bad Babe was on low health, so we could deal with her with just a nipper. Speaking of low health, let's jump into the sphere as soon as possible. Especially considering that there was an enemy team member near the sphere too. And yeah, once you are inside the spraying room, make sure you are staying opposite the right board, because otherwise you risk bringing some points to the enemy team, what you probably don't want to do. So this is not a blackboard in our case, this is a blue board. <laughs> and once you've drawn everything, hurry up to escape from this room, because otherwise the game will put you in the wrong place, and you will have to respawn. So yeah, once you've drawn everything, you escape from this room, and then you can see again that you're a tiny pod inside this enormous world. Every person that you are fighting is blue. And you must provide some excellent tactics, brilliant aim and impressive movement if you want to survive. Then let's enjoy the match, its tactics and its atmosphere a little bit. Pack power increases the damage that you can make several times. Finally again, Imperious time. Yeah. And you can pick up some bonus items like Killer Ducks for instance. Now we can't do that because of the floater. So that's kinda how the floater works. It can help you reach some items on the highest levels, including those that you really need. So if I see a floater, I usually grab it, whether it is the full stack one, or the one that's left after somebody to pick it up. As long as you keep pressing the use button and have some floater, you are soaring in there. And once you stop pressing the use button, you begin to fall down, but if you still have some floater, you can press it again, etc. I wish we could grab killer ducks, because this is quite a useful item. You can drop a rubber duck and it will try to follow the closest person to it and make this person some damage. Especially this is suitable on this map, where there is a bat. But I think you have already been seeing me dropping killer ducks in this video. I would also like to point your attention on the fact that there is a spray indicator down there, in the right corner of the screen. And you have 8 circles there, 
That's because 8 is the maximum amount of the cartridges that you can have at the same time. At the moment all the circles are blue, let's grab the cartridge. And now the highest one is filled with the red color. That's because we've grabbed one cartridge. Oh, I think I forgot a cartridge there. A red cartridge. But well. We are only 5 points from the victory. Big racket in the face. Some stroke tactics. Now we can grab some killer ducks. And here goes the final cartridge spray. Excellent, so we won 180 to 80, which is a very impressive result in my opinion. Did you catch that? Excellent, impressive. Medals names. Alright. This match was going on for 18 minutes. I think I can say that I'm satisfied with my work. And I get satisfied with our team's work as well. Because the score speaks to itself. There are not individual scores for team game types. But we still have an order at the results table. So General, Bad Paddy, Super Pad, and Ghost Pirate for the blue team. And Pad King, Pad Babe. Pad Punk and Pacho for the red team. There were some other items as well that I didn't really manage to show, such as Jumper, which gives you an ability to jump very high, Speedy, which gives you an ability to run very fast, or Invisibility or Revival. But I would have to play for like an hour to show you all that stuff, because Pats keep grabbing stuff. I'm not the only one on the map because it's a multiplayer game. So I think I'll add these game aspects in the review video about Wop. And I highly recommend you download this game, especially considering that World of Padman is absolutely free to play. So if you haven't already, download the game from the official site worldofpadman.net and take a full experience trip to the dreamlike and unlimited World of Padman. I wish for you to have a great day and see you in the next video.